the craze Spartan. What's up guys, Craze here with another gameplay here on Halo Reach, and this is the map Pinnacle, and had a lot of fun here playing this. A lot of fun, been uh, uh, just playing a lot of Halo, a lot of different Halo uh, lately, just kind of kind of stepping back a little bit from the old uh, Halo 5. Um, I can't really say why I'm doing that, I just... I just really kind of burnt out a little bit on Halo 5 right now and I just feel like really playing Halo but I want something new and unfortunately we just don't have anything new we don't even have anything on the horizon uh, <laughs> so I don't even know what to do as for that I mean there's been a couple rumors about things that I just don't think they hold any water uh, but you never know you never know because I remember the one rumor I heard was that it was, could be more of a PUBG type uh, game, which I really hope not. I really hope not, because that's... Uh, I played I played a little bit, and it's just not my cup of tea. I don't care for that big team, like Super Ultra Team, whatever you want to call it, uh, gameplay. Uh, like as in the PUBG or the Fortnite. I mean, I can't even watch it. It's a, To me, it's just kind of that... That boring but that's just me that's just me I'm not saying anything bad about them I'm just saying that's just not my cup of tea and by all means if you like them by all means go ahead and watch them um, as for me I'm gonna stick with Halo I'm probably gonna play a bunch of division gonna upload a bunch of that uh, because I'm having fun in that I really am I'm really enjoying that oh there's that sniper I knew he was up here I knew he was there I don't know what happened there <laughs> look at this look at this, the craziness Crazy, it's so much fun. I get to kill the jetpack because, man, if you ain't using jetpack, you are just not playing Halo. I'm just saying because if if only they could have the trifecta, man, the trifecta, which I would call the jetpack Spartan charge armor locking armor ability. Boy, howdy, that would be the best ever. <laughs> oh. As you can see, I'm being a little facetious about that. Uh, kind of hate every single one of those. Absolutely every single one of those. And Promethean Vision and Halo 4 was definitely a close second to those. And of course, Active Camel as a armor ability. Definitely another one I was very happy to be seeing uh, not uh, in gameplay. As a pickup, perfect. A as an armor ability, no. It is broken beyond broken. But anyways, I'm just still having fun uh, playing some Halo, playing some old school Halo. Uh, I just recently jumped on um, the Master Chief Collection and uh, threw an action sack, man. It was kind of crazy. I actually got some matches at action sack. I didn't think I would, but I did. And one of the gameplays I got, uh, which I'll probably actually upload here sooner or later, is it was really fun. Uh, if you guys remember the old Halo 4 binary slayer, you have like ultimate thrusters and uh, what else did you have? You had, uh, of course, uh, the binary uh, rifle as a one-shot kill and had a crazy, um, <laughs> they had a crazy big uh, reticle, so it was like really hard to get a snapshot. But I got a few snapshots. Uh, again, I just had some fun and I was really surprised. Really surprised I even got that was gonna go for that sniper and that just wasn't gonna happen Let's see if I can't get him get him oh armor locking armor locking get up get up get up get up come on you got this coming there you go <laughs> I'm sorry armor lock you suck <laughs> oh I gotta take those where I can get them I gotta take them come on if you're gonna use them you you can almost guarantee you I'm gonna teabag you on that one I, I'm sorry but armor lock you're getting teabagged <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. I, that's just one of the cheapest things ever. And, uh, yeah. And same as Jetpack. I, I don't do it as bad as Jetpack, but Armor Lock, you can almost guarantee you're going to catch one. <laughs> well, anyways, like I said, having a lot of fun playing a whole bunch of different Halo. And I'm hoping to get a bunch of people online uh, playing some Master Chief Collection, even tonight, which uh, probably will be way after this thing is... Uh, uh, uploaded. Oh, he didn't. He'd not even see me there. Uh, so hopefully I'll get a whole bunch of different shotgun gameplay. Spree. Ooh, shotgun spree. The spree medals, guys. Halo Reach. 
period, had the best metal system. I I'm sorry, I mean, I think Halo 4 and Halo 5 did add a few that were actually really good. Um, but overall, overall, Halo Reach's metal system was the best. I mean, come on, Sunday Driver. <laughs> that was like one, an awesome one. Sticky Fingers, uh, when you get a whole bunch of sticky grenades in, in a match. Um, Oh, it was a sniper spree, be the bullet. Just incredible. And of course, Killjoy and Revenge. Now, always, always a favorite of mine, Revenge. Again, again, I don't know why those just don't return. I mean, that seems like... Look at that. I got a frenzy. Let's see if I'll suffer the Rapscallion curse. If you guys don't know what the Rapscallion curse is, is when you get a killing frenzy, you die immediately after. Let's see if I suffer. Let's see if I can't continue or I'm just going to pull that curse. I've got a jetpacker, so I don't know. Oh, oh, got him. Got him. Another one. Oh, no. Ah, that's what happens when you're friends with Raps. Uh, you you kind of get that uh, frenzy curse as well. <laughs> it is. It's actually amazing. If you've watched uh, Rapscallion's videos and and of course his uh, stream, when he gets a frenzy, it's almost immediate. Almost immediately he'll die, and it's like, oh, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Uh, one of the things I actually I really loved about Halo Reach, man, is when you got a sniper kill. Not only was it satisfying, it looks, to me, it looks like you just drop them. I mean, it's just like you peel their face off and then, I mean, that's like one of the best uh, sniper kill animations, uh, period, I would say. And very, very fun. Very fun. <laughs> Some of that stuff, I mean, it's, it's the little details that really, really make it happen for me, that really make a game enjoyable. Um, I remember back in uh, PlayStation 2, I think Metal Gear Solid 2. I mean, I, that was actually probably one of my least favorite games uh, for Metal Gear, but uh, it had some really cool little uh, physics effects, especially at the time. It was really amazing. Um, where you feel like knocked over ice and the ice would melt and it would cause other problems. And I mean, just a lot of really fun little details, and that's what I really love. I mean, even walking through here, you see these little lights light up. Um, I, I think that's just in the forge pieces themselves, uh, which is really nice because obviously we didn't have scripting back then. Uh, we just basically had uh, forge, and uh, you just made it happen and put down the pieces, and they actually light up as you walk by, uh, if you ever noticed that, and that's just really kind of cool. One of those little details that uh, unless you're looking, you just don't see it. You just don't see it, which is um, really nice, really nice. I think, I'm gonna throw this out here, guys, and I still say, I still say that we are gonna see a Halo Reach remastered. Um, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't wanna see it like the full blown uh, as it was at launch uh, Halo Reach. However, the evolved uh, version or the v7 version was actually really fun and really easy to play uh, but as for all the crazy armor abilities and stuff like that uh, we can do without we can definitely do without that but still I still think that it's going to be possible that they're going to do that because Halo Reach honestly had one of the best campaigns um, in the Halo series uh, some really good characters I mean <laughs> I think, honestly, Bungie, or I'm sorry, 343 really needs to take a lesson on that, is just how to build up characters, because in Halo 5 characters, they just felt rushed, uh, more or less. I mean, they had really great characters, but you just really didn't have the time or opportunity to build on them, and then they tried to split it up between the four, and, and if we have eight characters, and it was just kind of, it's kind of silly. Oh, look at that. See, see guys, see, there's the old jetpack, jetpack with rockets, that's good stuff. <laughs> that would automatically earn you a little bit of, um, a little bit of ball plopping, as a friend of mine says. <laughs> oh, jetpack, jetpack. Oop, 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 uh. 
got to get that get that health back. Get that health back. That was one of the key things, man. Back in the day, the health pack. The health pack. You had to get that health back. Uh, if you were... Oh, ow. That hurt. But if you were actually playing and you were, got hit or whatever else and uh, there's a health pack nearby, you grab the health pack and automatically your shields start recharging. And I don't know if that was widely known, especially for just people just jumping on and playing. So they would like chase me down and I have my shields already back and or on the way up and they thought they could get me, but uh, I turned the tables. You know, not always, but that's the way it goes. And then it's just those little details about uh, the old school Halos, man, because you had to learn stuff. And that's why I'm really kind of looking forward to or really hoping for a classic Halo is because everything's kind of given to you yet. Uh, you know when uh, our rockets are spawning, you know when uh, OS is spawning, uh, even like on the map Regret. Um, I know when OS spawns because it's like 10 seconds or so after the, um, uh, what's, whatever the current weapon on the map is. I think right now it's the, uh, the Halo Reach uh, grenade launcher. As soon as that spawns, you know the other OS is going to spawn shortly after. And that's just kind of silly, man. When I played Halo Reach back in the day, I watched that clock. I watched that clock because, man, you watch that clock, and you knew when the weapons were coming up. That was awesome. It gave you such an advantage. Such an advantage. And it, that advantage is just gone. It's just gone right now. And hopefully, hopefully in the future. But that's a subject for another day. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.